Hey, Psst. come here. I got to tell you an Amazon cost savings quick tip of the day, and it's a secret. Are you ready? Don't tell anyone. It's called Amazon S3. Seriously, shh, don't tell anyone. No, seriously, Amazon S3 has seven different types. Actually, there's a S3 for Outpost, but we won't get to those. There's four regular and three for Glacier. We have the regular standard Amazon S3. We have the intelligent tiering. We have the standard infrequent access. We have the one zone, and then you go into Glacier, Glacier Instant Retrieval. We have Flexible Retrieval, and then there's Deep. Okay, let's talk about the intelligent tiering because this is really where you're going to save a lot of money. Use intelligent tiering. Set up some lifecycle policies throughout all of the options, right? They're available to you. But if you use intelligent tiering, it's gonna move it around itself based off how frequently your data is being accessed. Amazon knows so much about how the access, the data is being accessed and how frequently that is being accessed. Why not let it do it for you? AWS will move the data from one tier to another, automatically saving you a bunch of money. Okay, so you're not sure if you wanna do that. How about set up lifecycle policies? It's available for all of it, set it up. So take your S3, set up a lifecycle policy for data that hasn't been accessed for 30, 60, 90 days, whatever it is, and move it down tier by tier, and then ultimately rolling it off in the Glacier because you never know 12 years down the road when that data is, you know, might be needed from Glacier and you don't need it that quick. Do it, set it up. You're gonna save a bunch of money and it's one of their top services out there, right? It's the one of the original. Okay, this has been your cost savings quick tip of the day, Amazon S3. Now remember I said, shh, don't tell anyone. In fact, tell everyone. All right, see ya.